the Yendi Kumasi bound bus with registration number AS4635-22, which had 52 passengers on board, crashed with a trailer truck with registration number GW1127P carrying towels. The truck driver tried to swerve a stationary truck, which resulted in head-on collision, resulting in the death of 22 persons on the spot, with one dying at the hospital. The deceased include 18 men, four women, and one child. The injured persons were rushed to the Kintampo Municipal Hospital and are currently receiving treatment. The Bono East Regional Minister, Kwasi Adujan, visited the accident scene and spoke to the media. This is about the third time. Yeah, the first time, Nipa Bibri, that's the Metro Mass. We talked about upgrading the emergency world, the emergency world work in Tampa. Um, waterfalls issue and so by. And this is the third time. Uh -huh. The MC appealed to the Minister of Health and said, as long as this road, in you know, the whole of the whole of the country, in him say, this road, especially from Ufis Abi Ponosoba, is a death trap. Uh -huh, for the for drivers. So one of the things accidents may happen, but if accidents happen or the necessary tools are give it to me a boy. Because then they say yes but I can't feel so, because they were not able to provide the critical care and do it here. And we have six also over here critical attention. Uh -huh. The member of parliament for Kintapo North constituency to self Kamikuma is calling for the station of a towing vehicle to tow broken down vehicles, which always cause accidents on the Kintapu Highway. He also called for improved road markings on the Kintapu stretch to reduce road accidents. In fact, I will take this opportunity to ask that the state does an urgent uh, visit to Kintampo to appreciate what it is. I know the regional minister has been there. The MC, the security, everybody has gone been on the ground. The security, fire, National Ambulance Authority. But what will be the solution for this? Kintampo has recorded a lot of accidents. And we know that was where the Tomantos car collided with Kofu bus and a lot of casualties. People were bent along the Kintampo uh, Techuma Highway before. Uh, the accidents are so high. But this trick that this has happened, has always claimed a lot of lives and uh, what I'll propose is that first we should have reflective road markings as a temporary measure as we show sure the additional issue is that we need to have a, a towing a standby towing car along that stretch of the road and many other accident prune areas especially like the Cape Coast one two because normally I know Cape Coast uh, between uh, that of Cape Coast and Kentampo is always competing when accidents happen.